Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So today we are going to discuss PF52 part one that is uh, token validation using OAuth JWKS key. So in the previous video, we talked about how to uh, use introspect uh, call to uh, verify the validate the access token. So in similar way, we can just try to use OAuth JWKS key also to validate uh, the access token. So we'll just try to understand the workflow and how it can work. Also, like I'll just uh, want to add one more point that uh, the, in the both the way you can just do the validation but in the case of introspect it will take more time right because uh, you just need to just uh, send that introspect call by adding the client credentials in the body along with the token and then it will just uh, give you the response so the time duration it will definitely be long as compared to the jwks key or jwks key because uh, in this you just uh, uh, using the or jwks you are you are getting the public key and using that you are just uh, doing the validation uh, signature validation of that access token and then you are just uh, allowing the uh, client to access the resource right so yeah but you can use you have the choice so let's talk about uh, OAuth JWKS key let's begin so resource server um, wants to do the validation of the access token how we have seen in the introspect now in this call what resource server will do it will first you can see as in the diagram like first it will just uh, try to fetch the jwks url from the authorization server to get the basically jwks public key so you have uh, you need to just give the auth jwks url to the resource server so it can use that to fetch the uh, to basically get the jwks public key once it has uh, once the resource server have the public key then it will use that to verify the token signature and once the token signature is verified it can just allow the client to access the protected resource so in this case uh, OAuth JWKS URL is very important so let's jump to ping federate now I'll show you so the by default you have uh, like let me show you just copy this address and just put it in the browser with the ext slash oauth slash jwks okay uh, sorry i think i put uh, not the base url sorry it should be the base url not the admin url i have given let's copy this so you have already a defined oauth jwks url like the base url slash ext slash oauth slash jwks using this you should get a public key okay uh, what is happening it says uh, 404 not found ext oauth slash jwks mm, i'm just putting correctly or anything i'm putting wrong i think it is correct only let me go to the ping federate and go to access token management let me open the test access token manager okay and then let's go to instance configuration so let's check that maybe we haven't defined the jwks address so you can see the jwks endpoint path okay so just give here like slash oauth slash jwks okay like this slash oauth slash jwks and just save this we define the jwks endpoint path in the access token manager what we have now let's try and access this again yeah so that's the endpoint we haven't defined that's why this is issue okay so you just need to first go to the access token manager and just define the jwks endpoint path what we did right now uh, let me open test atm that's our default token manager for now and here you have defined the uh, jwks endpoint path okay slash oauth slash jwks and then now you can just hit this like with the base url slash ext slash oauth slash jwks so you are able to get the uh, like resource server able to get the public key uh, of the through which basically the token has been signed right so if you can see the signature thing what we have uh, its name is like let's open this what is the name we put atm signing x509 cert so you can able to see the key, key ID name, right? The ATM signing X509 set, right? So we have the public key. 
uh, using this URL, we can uh, that resource server can able to fetch and then yeah, just use for the token verification. Now, if I just want to make this custom, okay, like for my particular access token manager, not like uh, default. So what I can do, like I'll just show you. So, so you have the token manager name as a test ATM, okay? Let's copy this name as a test ATM. I'll just copy this turns ID. Then open the token manager, access token manager, and then just go to again the JWKS endpoint path and just open this and you can see as it's defined also that like uh, path on the pingfit server to publish a json web key set with the keys or certificates of this plugin instance that can be used to signature verification must include the initial slash example like this the resulting url will be https pf host ext jwks endpoint path if specified the path must be unique across all plugin instances including child instances so if you want the jwks endpoint path to be unique for your access token manager so what you can do just define this slash auth says jwks now just put a slash here and define another parameter like test atm okay and just copy this and just save this okay so this is particular for this access token manager okay now do the cluster management i'll show you now let's let's use this address and just put just remove auth jwks so it should be like, let, let me remove one bracket, one slash here. So it should be the base URL ext OAuth JWKS test ATM. So we have the default, uh, like, uh, we have basically the uh, JWKS endpoint for this particular, this access token manager, okay? So you can use that and you can pass it to resource server. Now just use this and just click on enter. So you can see you're able to retrieve the public key, okay? So it can be, right? So you can just, this is the way you can just create your custom JWKS endpoint path for OAuth. Okay, so if you have multiple access token manager, you can just create or you can just create a default as per your choice and then you can just give this address to the resource server, to the client team so that uh, or the resource server team. So they can just use, the resource server can use this address to fetch the public key of the JWKS and then just uh, verify the token signature, okay. So this is all about this session and let's quickly jump to the next where we can talk about open ID connect public, uh, JWKS keys, okay. Thank you.